This TA Tech tip will discuss modification of existing DSE models in NanoAnalyze. Models in NanoAnalyze can either be created or modified using the model editor. For this example, modification of the two-state scaled model for DSE data will be presented. There are many proteins whose DSE thermograms display multiple unfolding events, such as the antibody example shown here. Typically when fitting this type of data, three two-state scaled models are loaded and fitted to the transitions or the unfolding events of the separate domains. This method can become tedious, however there is a way to expedite the fitting process. A modified fitting routine that is comprised of three fitting routines can be created in the model editor. The model editor is accessed through this pencil and pad icon shown at the top of NanoAnalyze. To modify or edit the current models in NanoAnalyze, we will use the model editor. This is done by double clicking on the pencil and pad icon and then expanding the models folder. We know that we want to use the two state scaled model. So what we're going to do is take this model, right click and choose make a copy. From here we can rename it again by right clicking and choosing rename and we can call this IgG3 transitions. At this point, because we know that we're going to want to append three models, I'm going to go ahead and change the script variables and the logic portion, initially starting off with the script variables. Currently there are only three script variables because we have one model, but what we want to do is add in two more sets of script variables. The easiest way to differentiate between these is to rename each one, again by right clicking and choosing edit variable name, and then designating each variable as a one, two, three. Also at this point, go ahead and highlight the degree C and choose control C because we'll need to paste that later. All right, so now that those have been designated as one, you can go ahead and scroll down and start to add additional variables. This is done by left clicking and choosing a new name. So we'll need AW2 and that's a unitless variable. Keep it in the same order, let's choose TM2 and the new units, control V to paste that. And one more down, DH2, new units are going to be kilojoules per mole. And the last set of variables, the AW3, the TM3, control V, paste in the variable, and the DH3. At this point, the script variables have been updated, and now you can click on OK, and this will save your data from this point on. You'll notice if you did click OK that the newest model that we are creating is under the models folder, and the script variables have been reorganized. Each of the variables AW, TM, and Delta H are now grouped together. You also notice that I have made changes to these. I've given initial values of AW2, AW3 that are identical to the AW1 value. I've also clicked on the slide bar and chosen a precision, so how many numbers are going to appear in the fit, and made sure that everything is visible, meaning that those fitted values will appear. With the enthalpy, I once again went with the generic initial values that were given by the DH1 but I made a change to the TMs, because I can see on this that the TMs are not going to fall in the generic range of negative 10 to 160, so I went ahead and changed those to more reasonable ranges. I also gave each of them unique starting points, so hopefully it help us fit the data a little bit more quickly. Now that the script variable portion has been completed, we can move on to the logic portion. The easiest way to change this logic portion will be to copy and paste the variables that are already initially in the main function portion. So we have these first few definitions. We're just going to control C, press enter, and control V, again, giving ourselves a space so then we can differentiate 
where we need to choose the different values of 1, 2, and 3. So for the first four definitions, we want to make sure that we have our 1's in here. And we're looking for all the values that are varied. So it's all those with nots. Oops. including all of the k values and the scaling factor. All right, so the first set of four definitions have been redefined with the correct units, and now we can go on to the next few lines, and these will all be twos. And we have the break, so we're ready for the next line, and these are the three, so the last fit. All right, so the last lines we want to change are the heat capacity. We want to add in heat capacity one, two, and three, and make sure that we have parentheses around those. So main function variables have all been redefined. Next section over, globals, we'll need to redefine those. And just the last four variables, because those are the last four definitions that would change. So again, a control C copy and then a control V to paste everything in. Slide back up and add the ones where needed. And now the twos, and last three. And again, it's there's symmetry here. We redefined, or we have four new functions in the main function portion, so we're going to have four new globals. Function definitions, nothing needs to be done there. And constants, nothing needs to be done there. And we can click on OK, and that saved our data. The last step will be actually to use this newly created model. You can go ahead and load the model the same way that it's done with any other model and choose select. If an error message does pop up, it means that a model variable or a logic portion hasn't been defined properly. And you'll have to go back into the model editor. But our model loaded fine, and now we can go ahead and fit the data just like we would for a single individual model. We can see the model variables starting to come in, and we have our several transitions that are coming in as well and we'll just let it continue to fit until we get the best fit. Our modified model was allowed to fit this particular thermogram, and we can see that the three transition model that we created overlays very nicely with the raw data. It has been deconvoluted into the three transition as shown by the variables that were allowed to be fitted. However, now we get one continuous fit instead of three fits underneath this unfolding event. So that is how you modify a model in NanoAnalyze.